I'm nervous to talk. I haven't done this in a long time. Um, I have two things to say. Um, I want to thank the people who are standing on the perimeter and looking out. Woo! Um, can we have a shout out to the great people who are defending us? Woo! For the legal observers, for the John Brown. Can we have some thanks for everyone who is here to protect us? To the legal preservers, observers. To John Brown Center, to everyone who is here. I'm, I'm really bad at names. I have, I have like one of the worst memories of all time for many reasons, including severe mental illness, but um, I'm willing to try to memorize everyone's name. And something that I haven't really made clear here, I'm sorry that I'm stealing your time. Um, I'm trying to start a regular spiritual group, um, a Jewish Hebruta, that can meet every month or possibly more than that. And if anybody's interested in doing that, talk to me here. I'm going to post a link to a group I made on Facebook where we can talk about doing this, where we can talk about meeting in a radical way, multiple times, not just whenever something terrible happens or whenever it happens to be a holiday. Um, so please get at me. Um, so I wanted to say thank you to the folks who are looking out for us. Um, while standing here, um, uh, multiple times I imagine what it would be like if we were attacked right now um, and that hits me really hard and, um, uh, and I do feel safer because people are like looking out and if somebody were to come we'd have people who are really trying to like make sure that's going on. We're talking a lot about what it means to defend ourselves and this is one of the things that it means to defend ourselves. We're using our bodies and our minds to like protect each other on the street. And I think that's really um, amazing and something that we can put effort into figuring out what it means. Um, I think um, I think we should learn to defend ourselves as a group. We should learn to use our bodies in space. Um, uh, one thing I struggle so much with um, is figuring out how to participate. And I come to protests and I listen. And I, I feel like participating can mean something more than just listening. It can also mean um, using, using our bodies. I, I want to be able to defend each other. And I feel like if I know how to, and if we as a group know how to move together and, and, and fight as a group, that that'll be so powerful. And I, I want to listen, and I do listen, and part of me says I can listen on Facebook, which isn't very deep, but I can't defend ourselves on Facebook, you know? And I'll always know I'm doing something if I show up in my body and ready to like stand strongly with people, you know? I don't know all the things that are possible if, if we can start feeling confident as a group, moving together and showing up because I'll also know every time I do, I'm showing myself and I'm showing each other our power. Um, so that's kind of both the things I want to say. The other, the other half of it, other than, other than that we should be able to be strong in our bodies and we should learn how to fight together, is that we need to like give each other tasks that we shouldn't be, uh, we, should, we need to find ways to organize. Uh, we need to find ways to rope people in so it's more than just showing up to listen. We need to give people uh, like a meaning to be there for each other. Um, and we need to actively try to gather people to come. I think we, we need to stop uh, uh, telling people to only come if they want to or if it feels like the right time. I don't think there's anything wrong with shaming people for not coming at this point. Uh, we need to like really actively try to mobilize people. And that should include things about being here strong that it does make us safer to show up in larger numbers. And that we need, when we get here, we need to learn how to be aware of ourselves in space and work together. And that's what I have to say. Thank you.